Microsoft Surface Duo. My thoughts on it. The specs. Uh, what other videos already go in depth on the specs list? Uh, not being up to par with 2020 flagship phones. It has got the older processor, less RAM, no NFC, no wireless charging, a 60 hertz refresh screen, and one, only one 11 megapixel camera, and no facial recognition unlock feature. Uh, but even though it comes in at a hefty price of $1,400, I'd still say it's worth. Uh, so in my case, I still pre-ordered it. Uh, and the biggest pro, in my opinion, and the one of the main reasons why I I pre-ordered it uh, and plan to use that as my only phone uh, is the ability to do two different apps at the same time. Uh, the ability to start on one thought on one screen and have the other screen let you continue the thought in another app uh, without having to switch or multitask to another app is is a game changer, uh, at least in my opinion. Uh, the main thing I see myself doing this with is when I'm watching something on YouTube or Twitch and you know a random thought comes to mind and I'm just curious enough to to go and look it up and in today's world most Android phones allow Twitch to collapse into a smaller window that overlays over other apps and if you subscribe to YouTube Premium I believe you can also do the same thing uh, but on iPhones uh, not until or until iOS 14 comes out you know overlaid apps uh, essentially multitasking on, on two different apps is not something that can be done so for me, looking up, looking something up, or scrolling through uh, Twitter or social media, or pulling up, you know, a recipe to cook, uh, you know, while I'm consuming YouTube is is a huge game changer. Um, and so for me, uh, hopefully, the Sur Microsoft Surface Duo replaces my iPad Pro uh, on my day-to-day -day use use cases. Um, but yeah, that's just my opinion.